Hi, I'm Bob. The panel data have two dimensions, across the individuals and over time. The complex structure of the panel data allows us to adopt the methods to estimate models that only apply to panel data. These methods help us to obtain consistent estimates under certain assumptions. Today, let's learn the first differencing method for panel data models. We can continue to use the panel dataset for the US workers. Please download the dataset from the link below. We set the panel data with the xtset command. The panel data are unbalanced. The time variable is year with gaps. We can list the first 19 observations for some variables. The set by option draws a separated line for each worker. We find that the gap is two years. Some workers did not report their wages or union status for some years. The panel data is different from the cross-sectional data for its time component. We observed an individual multiple times. In this data, we use the time series operators to represent the legs and leads of variables. The prefix L dot tells data to create a leg of the variable. We can insert a number after L to specify the length of the leg. For example, adding L1 dot as a prefix to the variable log wage will create a variable that is one period leg. L2 dot will result in a two period leg. Notice that the time period gap in our sample is two years. So we use the L2 dot operator to create the lag variables. Similarly, we can generate the lead or forward variable using the prefix f dot before a variable. Stata also has the differenced operators. We use the first differenced operator d1 dot to generate the difference between the current value and the lag value. The operator S1 dot has the same function, but S2 dot computes the difference between the current value and the value two times periods ago, while the D2 dot calculates the difference of differences, that is, the difference between the current value and its leg, and subtract from this the difference between its leg and the leg before that. In our example, we should use S2 dot to create the differenced log wage. After we generate the lag, the lead, and the difference of the log wage, we use the list command to see the first 19 observations of them. We see that for the worker with ID number 5177, his log wage was 1.9 in 2010 and 2.1 in 2012. So the lag log wage in 2012 is 1.9 and the forward log wage in 2010 is 2.1. The difference log wage in 2012 is 0.25, which is the 2012 log wage minus the 2010 log wage. We can apply we can apply the lag or lead operators to the dummy variables to examine the variable's dynamics or transitions. For example, we generate the forward Julian variable using the f2 dot prefix. Then we tabulate the current Julian status against the future Julian status. We ask data to include the row percentages by adding the row option. The no label option tells data to display the values instead of the value labels. Let's execute it. We see that if the worker was a union member, 
the likelihood that she remained her union status the next time period is 87%. Her probability of leaving the union is 13%. For the workers who were not union members, 98% of them remained that status the next time period, and only 2% joined the union the next time period. Next, let me show you how to use the differenced operators to perform the first differencing method for panel data models. The first differencing method can eliminate the time invariant unobserved components in the error term. If we suspect that there were omitted variables in the model that are correlated with the explanatory variables, then the ORS estimator will be biased. If the omitted variables are time constant, such as the genetic characteristics or personalities that we believe do not change over time, then we can use the first differencing method to remove those unobserved factors and obtain consistent estimates. It is called the first differenced estimator. Notice that the first differencing method also eliminates all the time invariant variables in the model. Years of schooling and gender in our case, as well as the intercept. We type regress d log wage d union. We exclude the time invariant variables of schooling, gender, and the constant term. The first difference estimate for the union is 0.067, suggesting that a union contract increases the wages by around 7%. An equivalent way to perform the first differencing method is to use the differenced operator once for all variables in the model. In this way, we don't need to generate the differenced variables before the regression. Since the time period gap in our sample is two years, we need to use the S2 dot operator in the regression. We get the same result. Today, we learned the first differencing method for the panel data. We will discuss the second method for panel data tomorrow. Thank you.